All right, the Chiefs made a move. They signed somebody. Veach is awake. Wasn't a wide receiver like a lot of people were wanting or hoping for today. That could still come, but they did bring back an interior defensive lineman. Um, it's a good move, in my opinion. Some are so-so on it, but I am glad that this man is back. That is defensive tackle Tershawn Wharton. So let's talk about the deal and what this looks like for the defensive line, and we're going to get right into it. But first... How about All right, so just a little bit ago here, um, within the last 10 minutes or so, Jordan Schultz broke it first, said free agent pass rusher Tershawn Wharton is re-signing with the Chiefs on a one-year $2.75 million deal, fully guaranteed. I had to swallow there for a second because <coughs> that's, that's, a, that's a bit of money. That is a chunk of change. One year, $2.75 million dollars. Fully guaranteed. He had two sacks, five QB hits, and a fumble recovered last season with the Chiefs. This is a this is just bringing bringing the gang back together. You needed more defensive line help, especially in the defensive tackle room. And I believe the DT group looks like this uh, as of right now. You got Chris Jones, Turk Wharton, Mike Pinnell, Isaiah Bugs, Neil Farrell, and Matt Dickerson. A couple weeks ago, they only had a couple under contract. Well, now they've got six. So this is good. You could still probably draft another and um, add to that group just a little bit more. But uh, I think it's a, a good move. A little surprised, I think, by the amount and it being fully guaranteed. But Turk Wharton came off of a torn ACL the year prior. Played pretty decent last year. Mainly lined up as a defensive tackle, a little bit as a nose tackle, very little on the edge. Um, but he is a, a proven guy that's been in the system for quite a while. And the Chiefs trust him. Fully guaranteed. $2.5, $2.75 million. A little surprising, again, on the number, but I'm not unhappy about it. I think it's important. Again, I know people want a receiver. They want this. They want that. But they have to build the rest of their roster out, too. You can't just focus on a couple different positions. And Marquise Brown and these other guys that people are eyeing for the wide receiver room, they're still not signed by anybody else. So we still got some time here. Um, but this guy's been on the team for a while. Five years, I believe it is. Been in 10 postseason games, recording 12 total tackles, two T4Ls, two sacks, and a batted pass. Um, yeah, fifth season with the Chiefs. He was a UDFA. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely happy about the signing. Shout out to uh, Charles Goldman of A to Z Sports, even though I don't think he... Yeah, yeah, Charles Goldman wrote this article. So that's just a, a short little breaking news piece that I wanted to... It wasn't enough to like make a full video on. There's not a lot of Chiefs news that I, I haven't covered since last night's video. But I did want to mention that they're making moves. Uh, the defensive line was a an area that I was like, yo, we got to watch for this because they're lacking in the defensive tackle department. Well, you got Chris Jones, Turk Wharton, Mike Pinnell, Isaiah Bugs, Neil Farrell. That's the former Raider th that they traded for last season. And Matt Dickerson. Somebody in chat earlier said, I guess that means Mike Dana is not returning. Well, I don't know that he's returning regardless because I think he might get out priced by another team had a pretty good year last year but he's a defensive end they need defensive ends too so the defensive tackle room looks pretty good um but they still need help with their defensive end room like on the edge there because you've got a minihu recovering from surgery then you have dana a free agent you do have fau and george Karloftis, but fau is still to be determined i think um so you still got to add to the the uh, ends, the edges, the edge rushers. There's a few different terms you could coin there, but that's about that's about all the news that they've got um, right now. There was uh, a couple signings yesterday, just official. You had uh, linebacker Drew Tranquil, Deion Bush, Mike Pinnell was the new signing. So they've signed a, a defensive tackle back to back days. So again, we're we're still waiting for some other positions. We got running back. You got left tackle, seeing what they're going to do there. You've got, uh, obviously, the wide receiver room. That's what we're really looking for. And I've been prepping some videos for the wide receiver room. And um, that should come here sooner than later. But we also th still have the Legereus Sneed situation, which could be hamstringing the wide receiver situation a little bit. He is reportedly still being shopped for a trade, uh, some are even saying the Chiefs are debating on whether or not they're going to trade him. And 
if that's true, it just kind of means they're they're possibly not getting the offers that they would like to for Legereus Sneed, and they're debating whether or not just to keep him because they know his value, and it's not potentially what is being seen as value by other teams and what they're offering him in exchange for draft capital. Yeah, somebody said, who's FAU? Felix N.U.D.K. Uzama is the first-round draft pick by the Chiefs last year. Um, so we've got to watch this Legereus Sneed situation. I'm not saying the Chiefs cannot make a signing without Sneed traded, but it would definitely help if they were able to trade him, offload that $19.8 million cap hit. They do have about $15 million right now. The Turk Wharton signing, it's what, $2.75 million? It probably puts them closer to $13 million in cap space right now. They are cap compliant, which is fine. It's great. They just restructured Mahomes to free up like 20. They converted 27 million of his uh, roster bonus into a signing bonus, I think is what it was, or it was something like that. But they converted it, freed up a bunch of cap space. They're cap compliant. But those are the biggest things we're still watching for. Legereus Sneed. Colts are interested, supposedly. He was liking Colts uh, jersey swaps on Instagram yesterday and saying, sending fire emojis, you know. He could very well be a Colt soon. We'll have to see. But if the Chiefs do that, it's going to free up quite a bit of room for them to get a wide receiver. Problem is, in regards to a wide receiver, the longer you wait, the longer the Chiefs wait, the higher the chance of some of these other guys coming off the board. Uh, that that very well could happen. So we'll just kind of have to wait and see here if the Chiefs are like, they're in their head, they're like, we have to trade Snead before signing a receiver. Okay, but you're you might have to figure out a way to get a receiver before Snead is even traded. Hollywood Brown, makes sense to me. Marquise Brown, you've got Curtis Samuel, you've got some others. I'm looking at Twitter, just making sure nothing else drops while I'm live. But that is, uh, that's the main news. Wanted to hit you guys with a quick hitter video just about this signing because, um, again, wasn't enough for like a, a long form video, but I did I did like the signing. I think the signing of Turk Wharton is a good one. You, you bring back a proven guy that knows the system. Joe Cullen likes him. Chris, he works well with Chris Jones and company. And again, he was coming off of a torn ACL. He had a torn ACL uh, 2022 season, rehabbed it all year, came back by training camp or the end of training camp for this season. So I don't even believe we were getting Turk Wharton's best, even though he had a, a decent year. I think he's going to be even better this year. I like the one-year deal. Sounds good to me. Eddie with the five. All these guys priority to re-sign. Bolton, McDuffie, uh, Creed, can they all come back? Also, can they cut Jay Reed and keep Snead? Uh, okay, a lot of questions there. Uh, thanks for the five. Yeah, definitely a priority to re-sign probably Bolton, Creed, and they'll take a look at Trey Smith. But I think somebody mentioned Veach will look at that after the draft, more than likely. They can all come back. McDuffie, obviously they want to bring him back, but he's still got a couple years left on his rookie deal, and you could... Um, What's the term? Get an act his fifth year option. So that's not the right terminology, but you could you could uh, pick up his fifth year option. That's what it is. So they've got a few cost controlled years with Trent McDuffie still. Um, I do think they're going to have more serious talks with Creed and Nick Bolton. Trey Smith might be gone next year, but he's been great. You just can't pay him all. It's impossible. Um, I don't know that they cut Justin Reed. I don't know why you would do that. I understand you could lower his cap hit, but he's been playing well enough, in my opinion, that you extend. Justin Reed, if anything, he's only 26, 27 years old. You keep him around for a couple more years. He is on the last year of his deal. Cap hit of like 11-ish million dollars, one of the highest on the team. But I think you extend him rather than release him. Uh, he's playing well in the system, and I don't know why you would want to move on from him to mess that up. Um, you could keep Snead with still having Justin Reed there. I mean, that's two different positions. You know, Justin Reed's holding it down uh, with the safety room. Snead is trailing wide receiver once. Hopefully there is a scenario that plays out where they can keep Snead, but I'm just giving you guys the most up-to-date stuff that I've been seeing. Snead is still more than likely getting traded with each passing day that goes on, though. It's a little less likely that it does happen, and the Chiefs opt to either keep him on the tag or uh, extend him to some type of a deal, maybe a two, three-year deal with an out after the third. We'll have to wait and see there, but uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on, but it's like a lot in the air here. Um, with just waiting for free agency news to happen. I just keep refreshing Twitter <laughs> and uh, and seeing what's going on. Charles Goldman just shared this on Twitter a minute ago. Updated free agent list with news that the Chiefs will re-sign Turk Wharton. These are the guys you have left that were on the team last year that are free agents right now. Mike Dana, 
Blaine Gabbert, Richie James, Jarek McKinnon, Derek Nottie, Mike Edwards, Donovan Smith, McCole Hardman, Clyde Edwards Elaire, Blake Bell, Darius Harris, Prince Tega Winogo, and Jody Fortson. I, I think we see a few of these guys back. We'll have to also see about what they do with quarterback QB2. Are they bringing Blaine Gabbert back? Are they going to go with somebody else? Um, there's a few guys on the market. Ryan Tannehill, I think, is still there, which is intriguing, but we'll see about that one. Um, the running back room, you got to look at it, man, with CEH and Jarek McKinnon both on their way out. You've got Pacheco, you've got LaMichael P. Ryan and Daneric Prince that were on the practice squad. You've got a few guys, uh, and Pacheco's obviously the main guy, but you need somebody to help offload his, like, he's a workhorse. You need to preserve Pacheco a little bit because he's a, he's a pretty violent guy. Pretty violent guy, man. Bring back Naughty. Yeah, Naughty would be great. I'm not sure. I, you can't bring them all back. I would prefer Dana probably over Naughty because the defensive tackle room's looking pretty decent right now. So, but Mike Dana might get priced out. Mike Williams is signing? No way. Where are you seeing this? Some there's like two people that said Mike Williams is signing. Hey, come on now. Don't get me freaked out. I haven't seen anything about Mike Williams. That could come. If so, that's probably going to be its own video. So, no news on that as of right now. I haven't seen anything. Um, haven't seen anything wide receiver news. But we've been looking. Mike Williams did get released. He did get released yesterday by the Chargers. Oh, by Mike Car Mike Carton or whatever. That guy's an idiot. Don't listen to anything that guy says. Um, he's literally a troll for a living. Yeah, don't don't. That guy's not a verified source. So no. Uh, Mike Williams is intriguing to me. Um, he's coming off of a torn ACL. He's 30, but if you can get him at the right price, I I'm like okay with it, especially when you look at what's out there. But yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. You've got other options that I like better. Younger, maybe a better system fit. Marquise Brown, even Curtis Samuel, and there's some others. So we're going to keep our eyes on that. Appreciate you guys for hanging out, and uh, I'm here for all the breaking news. So if anything else happens today, I feel like it's worth going live. We will do it. We will go live. I'm working on some other content for you guys to possibly drop tonight, uh, depending on what news follows. So appreciate y'all. Margaret, thanks for the 10 bomb. She said in Spags, we trust 100% when it comes to the defense. I mean, you you do trust Spags. You do trust all the, the assistant coaches and Veach as they're putting it all together. Um, but it's fun to watch it all come together. Excited about it. And uh, we'll see what's next. Appreciate y'all for hanging out. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. Never mind. Derek with the five. Hey, Cole, don't know if you've covered it. Uh, but if not, what do you think about acquiring Hunter Renfro? I talked about it in last night's video. I talked about Mike Edwards and Hunter Renfro in last night's video. Hunter Renfro is fine. Um, you probably get him for cheaper. If if you're going to move uh, Rasheed Rice kind of all around and expand his role, Hunter Renfro might be a good uh, slot guy offsetting Travis Kelsey. Like, it would be okay but not for a lot of money. Mike Edwards is a little bit more intriguing, but they don't even use Mike Edwards strengths typically on this Chiefs offense. A lot of vert 50-50 stuff. Like they're not doing that in this offense. They're scheming people open intentionally and Mahomes is throwing to the open receiver um, based on the scheme. So uh, we'll see. But if I had to choose between the two, like if they're going to expand Rasheed Rice's role, I do think, um, I think Hunter Renfro could be an option, but None of that moves the needle for me. I need somebody else. I need somebody bigger, and in my opinion, as they refresh the wide receiver room. So hope that helps. Check out last night's video for more on that. And until next time, guys, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about go?